So, hello everyone. Each of us are part of the SIM courses. The, this is Science and Engineering of Materials. It is supposed to train future engineers to be able to solve technical, physical and scientific problems linked to the fabrication of materials. Have you ever wondered why glass is transparent or why object breaks? Well, material science study is your answer. Mirak, can you tell us more about what you are studying in class? Yes, of course. Basically, every product surrounding us and that we use in our daily life are made of engineered materials. It can be uh, ceramics, polymers, uh, metals or composites. In material science, we see the relationship between the material's microstructure and its uh, physical or mechanical properties. Thanks to this information, we can uh, choose the appropriate material for a specific application. And don't forget that the first step of a product's design is the material selection step. And this course is also about doing it by yourself. This is why we have a lot of practical work and also many projects in the industrial environment. Actually, contrary to what people think, SIM students have to be able to handle physical problem modelization in order to predict the material behavior in sometimes hard condition. You can see here SIM students working on their modelization project. They have to design biomaterials that can resist to fracture in tough environment. Now let's talk about improvements. To take on climate change, we have to reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, in the industry, we need uh, to uh, replace current manufacturing processes and find new ones to produce more responsibly the material of the future. We can also use recycled material uh, to avoid mining from the limited earth. That's why we have also uh, uh, recycling, uh, life cycle analysis or uh, assembly courses. The strength of material science is the variety of uh, uh, fields of work. In fact, every field needs the material to design the product. For example, you can work in the aerospace industry to build aircraft. You can also work in biomedical to design prothesis, uh, in electronics also to build chips. So the possibilities are infinite. And this is what makes our studies so complete. We are able to design and model stuff in an office, but we are also field engineers who can spot defects in all of these fields in machines already working in enterprises around the world in sometimes hard conditions. Finally, a material science engineer is a person that wants to find responsible solutions for the future. As we move forward, more and more issues come up in the world and we need to be there to solve them. So if you have any question about the SIM degree, feel free to contact a SIM student for more information. Thank you.